And President Kufuado has declared 2022 yet another year of roads. He announced the government work on new major road project across the country and complete some others which are yet to uh, at advanced stages of completion. In December 2019, the president announced that 2020 would be a year of roads. Quote, next year is the year we will adopt as the year of roads, he said in a press encounter. In January last year, he again declared 2021 as the second year of roads. Let me take you through his tweet on Sunday. And as you can see, the president in his tweet on Sunday indicated that the government will start work on nine new major uh, road projects in parts of the country this year, 2022. It comes with a picture of the president, roads, roads and more roads is the year of roads, 2022. Again, the president continued to say, uh, we're looking at nine highways, seven bridges, five interchanges to be constructed this year, 2022. And this, if you like, is the upteenth time the president is making this comment. Let's have a conversation on the back of this and speak with Emmanuel Cherry. He is the chief executive of the Ghana Chamber of Construction Industry. He has joined us on Zoom for more on this. Emmanuel, we're grateful for your time. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. Happy New Year to you. 2022 again is another year of roads. It means there'll be a lot of road constructions. You contractors are happy, are you not? Thank you very much, Bobby. Uh, and uh, let me also uh, use this opportunity to salute all your cherished listeners and the viewers across the entire country. Wishing everybody Happy New Year. We are hoping that this year is going to be a year of action. Yeah, in response to your question, yeah, we've seen the tweet of uh, the president, uh, which we believe that, that is his vision and his ideals that he's trying to project and uh, promote and execute as a leader for the nation Ghana for this year 2022. So as the leader, it's very good for him to have a vision mm -hmm. and aspirations as well for his people. So therefore, it's a welcoming news to we, the industry players, as contractors in the country, as well as professionals. Okay. So it's a welcoming news to us. Mm. Now, this will be the third year, if you like, uh, to have uh, the year being announced as a year of roads. Did members see significant work, significant pays uh, during the previous two years? Yeah, one thing is, uh, uh, these issues has been discussed dispassionately in the in the past, which uh, your media house also play a very pivotal role in responding to some of these uh, TT challenges in the construction industry. Mm -hmm. As back as 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19 to date, there were some uh, uh, pocket of issues that has bedeviled the construction industry entirely in the country. Uh, it cut across all spheres. Uh, in connections to uh, infrastructure development. So in the infrastructure development of the said country, Ghana, we have so much deficits, and therefore all the leaders that uh, had opportunity to sit in government tried their bits. And then now is the turn for our, uh, His Excellency the President, Nana Adodan Kwaku-Fados, to also do his bit according to the terms which has been uh, bequeathed to him. So he's tried as much as possible to, to see what exactly he can do, first of all, to uh, offset all the liabilities that he came to meet, and then also to see what exactly he can do to add on to the infrastructure needs that, or the infrastructure uh, assets that he also came to meet, what they can also do to add on to. So it has been a struggle because the debt portfolio there was quite huge. So therefore, he tried as much as possible to settle. But in as much as he's also trying to settle outstanding arrears, so also he's also executing new projects. So which means the debt portfolio keep adding on. Mm -hmm. And then the, in as much as he's keep adding on, because it's delay in paying, there is interest accruing on those particular stalled payment certificates. So at the end of the day, you realize that the uh, debt portfolio has ballooned overnight because of what the delay in payment to uh, interim payment, payment certificate. So that is where the challenges were. But uh, as we speak now, uh, a lot of activities or actions has been put in place. Okay. And then the, 
currently ongoing, we have zero to one million Ghana city certificates that contractors have uh, lodged at Ministry of Roads and Highways uh, under the, what do you call it, the direct watch of a uh, road fund management mm -hmm. board. Right. That payment is ongoing now. So far, over 1,002 contractors have received payments. And then the, we still have more to go because uh, from zero to one million, from zero to one million, we believe strongly that uh, we have over barely 3,400 uh, contractors on the list, which uh, 1,002 there about has been paid. And we are still hoping that more will be added very soon. But, but where the meat of the crack, the crack of the issue is, is right. one million and above. That is where the entire game changer, uh, changing uh, aspect is. Because that particular portfolio is quite huge. And then the, nothing has started in that particular quest yet. And we are hoping that uh, not to uh, the holy quality distance from now, the president and his government to try as much as possible to do the needful by clearing those outstanding areas. Okay. If those things have been done, then I can tell you that, honestly speaking, 2022, 2022 is really going to be a year of road because mm. the challenge, the gap between the, constru uh, the construction industry players and that of government is the uh, indebtedness. So if that particular liability is being taken care of, okay. then I believe government is free to move on. So mm. that's what uh, is uh, empowering and encouraging the president to come out and say 2022 is going to be another year of road because he knows that he's going to clear the liability. Right. And if that happens, a lot of contractors will go back to site because they are receiving money and then they to continue their project. And a okay. lot of work is going to be seen as well. Mm. That is our aspiration. So, uh, briefly, in fact, briefly, it's a welcoming news for me. Right. Briefly, before you go, Emmanuel, you, you mentioned the, the 1 million plus portfolio. Uh, how huge is that? And what what demands are you making? How forceful have you been in making sure that government pays attention to uh, that aspect of your concerns? To be honest with you, as for we, the construction industry players, our demands are quite, and uh, how they call it, huge because, you know, infrastructure is capital intensive. Mm. And then more so, the financial market is not helping we, the players in the construction okay. industry, uh, let's, because of certain let's, policies. Let's limit, let's limit it to the one million plus portfolio you mentioned, Emmanuel. Okay. So, currently, as we speak now, uh, the debt portfolio in the books of government is barely 10 billion cities thereabouts, in addition to that of debt fund. Okay. But with the road sector, we are talking about something uh, a little above uh, 8.5 billion Ghana cities. Okay. So, Government is trying to offset the how they call it, uh, one million and below, which is something uh, in the range of one point five billion Ghana cities. So mm. that tells you the portfolio that is ahead. Taking that one from uh, barely eight point five billion, that tells you that there is huge uh, portfolios ahead that government is to take care of. Okay, Imano, thank you. We appreciate your time with us on Media Live. We're speaking with Imano Cherry. He is the chief executive of the Ghana Chamber of uh, Construction Industry.